Hello and welcome to Gutterick Farms. We're back with another episode of UMRV, Upper Mississippi River Valley. And we've got a lot going on today. Uh, first off, I know last episode I said we're all done with September. Yay, let's move forward to October. I forgot, we've still got a few things left to do here. Uh, I'm getting some slurry spread on this cornfield that we just finished chopping. And that's a job that we can let go in the background a little bit because I need to get the slurry spread before we come out here and plow it all up. Uh, I will be able to probably get these jobs going in parallel. The only reason I'm spreading a little bit of slurry here before we move the clock forward, though, is just to make sure that when we move the day forward here, we don't end up getting full. And I've noticed something interesting now that we've got the Enhanced Animal uh, Systems mod on. We're generating a lot more milk with these cows than we were previously. We've got 78,000 gallons in here already. Now, I know last time we noticed that we're not getting milk from the heifers anymore, which actually makes sense, so I'm okay with that. I just don't remember generating this much milk uh, in the past and I think it balances out because I don't remember needing to feed the cows this much feed either so I think everything's been kind of ramped up here in the enhanced animal system uh, my napkin mass says we're going to get a lot of money from selling all that milk when the day ticks over here uh, so I'm going to be moving the clock forward now that I've got my slurry spreader kind of going and just keeping an eye on that slurry. I don't want to waste anything as we go forward. I don't want the cows to be unproductive and I want to use up as much of the slurry as we can. The goal is to put down a biogas plant today as well once we get all the other jobs going. And if I'm being honest, I kind of forgot we've got two fields of soybeans over here that we're gonna to need to harvest uh, in October as well. So October is going to be a busy month. Just checking in on our slurry situation. It looks like the heifer are a little fuller than the cows but the cows are filling up fast here as the time ticks by so I'm just gonna keep an eye on things here as we keep moving forward passing through the end of the night here we've got our loan and vehicle leasing costs are down pretty good now uh, I'm feeling pretty good about that we are still incurring some lease costs on things like the slurry trailer and stuff here and if we look I'm not quite capped out on our manure here so I think we might make it into the daylight that's my hope at least is to make it to uh, 6 a.m. a little bit later where we get our uh, money here from selling the slurry off and we'll see where things are at. We're almost out of slurry here so I'll get one more tank out of there before we have to continue moving the clock forward. The other thing that I've noticed as we're moving the clock forward here is we seem to be having a lot more costs per hour that we're at almost negative 20,000 and wow we got $250,000 of sold milk there that's a lot more than I was expecting uh, but that seems to be getting countered by the larger operating costs per hour I noticed we seem to be ticking down quite a bit here uh, each hour uh, if you watch we're incurring all of these costs so I think that for some reason the enhanced animal system mod here is not only increasing our revenue but also uh, has increased our food consumption here probably look at our water costs in September versus August uh, we've gone up quite a bit here and then uh, I'm thinking that's the only thing charging us so far so in the grand scheme of things it looks like we're gonna start having a lot more revenue but we're going to start having a lot more costs and uh, both the water costs there and the feed costs as well so consumption has definitely been raised significantly uh, since I've installed this mod I don't know if that's intentional or if it's just something weird going on between the mod and the map that we're using but I think we're just gonna roll with it. I think it's gonna balance out. Uh, more feed is definitely gonna be a start to be a problem for us. If we look here at uh, their heifers now, they were calves uh, before the month change over here. We're eating a lot more feed. I think I had 150,000 
uh, feed in here. Yeah, we're eating 45,000 uh, per day now in this barn. We're eating 100,000 in this one and 182 over here. Uh, this is a ton more feed than we were eating previously. So that's something that we're going to have to keep our eye on. Uh, the milk is really stacking up, though, in the pens here, which is really cool. Uh, I'm glad to see everything kind of getting balanced out. And oh my goodness, we left the clock running at 360%. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, reload and uh, fix that here real quick. One second. So I managed to reload and thankfully we seem to be right back more or less where we were at. Uh, but at least it's still daytime and we can get some jobs going here now i was trying to figure out how to get this guy going again on his course play course i'm not sure where we left off and i don't seem to see the course here and it didn't want to auto resume so i'm going to drive him over here and see if we can get this uh, connected back up to where we left off. Here we go. I seem to have gotten us back to where we need to be. And I've got everything all set up looking good. Uh, we, it is going to start getting dark here though soon and I really want to uh, keep moving on this stuff. Now, I didn't get to rewind as much as I wanted, so we did uh, we are losing slurry here and that is going to start affecting our cow production so we're definitely going to need to get that out of there but before we do that we need to get the swather started on mowing these fields so that we can place down these structures that we're looking to uh, make some digestate from and start processing the slurry for some profit here hopefully so first things first, I think we're gonna mow this closer field because this is the one that we do want to start working on and doing some construction with. I think it's gonna be the best spot for us. So we're gonna just fire up a nice simple course here. We'll let the swather go to town. And because I know we're gonna need it, let's go ahead and just get the baler moving and we're gonna get it right out there baler runs a bit slower than the swather so let's get all of this hay coming off of the field as fast as possible and hopefully we can get this <coughs> bga thing set up i'm a little bit nervous though because I, I well we just got a ton of money i don't think i've got enough money to buy the biogas plant so we might have to figure that out here shortly as well but we'll cross that bridge after we start getting the hay off of this field here. And I'm also remembering, yep, all of our soybeans are ready now. We've got to get the combine moving out on those fields as well. So much to do all of a sudden. I love it. And then as usual, we're just going to copy our course over here. Looks like the swather is done with the first round on the field here we jump back over here I can go ahead and get the baler going on the first waypoint should be close enough here and get this combine moving we refueled it yep all topped off we're gonna run this guy out to the field and hopefully we can get these beans pulled off pretty quick I'm kind of curious to look and see what the price is on beans I'm hoping that it's reasonable enough maybe we'll sell some beans straight off to the elevator and then we won't have uh our money deficit for buying that bga plant we're gonna have to do a little bit of landscaping too i think i'm gonna have to level some of this ground in order to place a structure so we're gonna need a few extra funds once we get the combine moving here we can take a look at the price of the bga and see what that's gonna cost uh, just so that we know, I want to say that I've got a couple of different versions of BGA mods installed on this uh, save. So I want to say I saw one for like 365000 something like that. I don't think it's going to be a ton of money, but we'll find out. I think we're going to start with this backfield for the beans, though, uh, just to get that knocked out before we transition to the much larger field. There we go. It wouldn't let me generate a course going straight. It forced me to angles, which I don't understand. Maybe I'll try and reduce this to two and then do longest edge. That's better. 
I don't know. Course play's been getting a little bit uh, weird on me lately, I feel like. So I'm just uh, trying to make sure we get everything going. We're going to start on the first waypoint here, though. We'll let the combine just kind of figure that out. I could have put him in a better position, but I'm sure he'll get this sorted out. And AI worker Andy is empty. Probably going to be heading up to the farm to get more manure, which is great because that... Uh, manure tank is full on the one barn there i'm excited to be getting stuff done here and we are gonna make the soybean straw here this time i don't know what we're gonna use it for just yet i don't know if it's gonna work with our tmr mixer i somehow i doubt it to be honest uh, because i'm on the old version of the map here still but in a worst case scenario we can probably toss those into the bga or sell them if not we do have a baler now though uh, so I don't see any reason not to make the straw here on the soybean fields and profit from that in some way and then we've also got to start picking up these bales on this field not that I'm particularly worried about how many bales are out here I'm just trying to make sure that the swather isn't pushing these bales into the creek as it's turning around and doing its thing so we're gonna just hop out here. We don't have a lot of other stuff to handle personally. The slurry spreader is fairly automated at this point, and I think all of these jobs are gonna be running and finishing up on their own too. Looks like the swather did push this one off to the side of the field there. Uh, we're not gonna get a ton of bales off of this field, but we're gonna get enough to keep the feed moving here for the next uh, few days at least. I'm really uh, curious now that we've got all of these mods installed to figure out how I'm gonna keep up with feed. It looks like we've doubled the amount of feed that we were feeding them previously, something like that. I don't know, it's uh, interesting. I need to do a little bit more calculations based on the numbers we were seeing in previous saves, but we are definitely using up more feed now. Looks like that's gonna do it for the bales for the moment. I'm seeing that my slurry spreader is stuck over here behind the semi. I guess I forgot that this was the primary path that he used to come through here on. Uh, I'm gonna take over for auto drive. I'm pretty sure this will let me resume auto drive again in a few minutes to send him back out to the field. I don't think I've messed up the integration of course play by doing that. And we're just going to take this guy around to the other side of the yard. I'll see if I can sneak past uh, the feed mixer here. This trailer having the steering tires on the back always helps out. And I'm definitely noticing a few more lag spikes than normal with all the equipment up in the yard right now. I'm, which is unfortunate. I haven't had too many performance problems with FS22 until I feel like the last couple of patches things just kind of went downhill for me. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's a graphics driver update that uh, isn't playing nice or something, but we're definitely seeing a much lower FPS lately in farm sim than previously, and I haven't installed that many additional mods. In this case, uh, really the enhanced animal system, and I mean, I, we've got the animal food mod on here, but that's about it. I don't know uh, what else we've really added to the server here, or, but it is a little slower. We've got everything refilled here, sending him back out on his way. Should be fine. And the mower is done over here, so what we're going to do is go ahead and kill off that course, because we've already got the baler working on it. I'm going to get this guy going on the other grass field here as fast as we can. Keep these jobs rolling. And what I should do is also now get the plow ready set up and moved out to that cornfield because I can't imagine that there's that much uh, manure left to spread on it. We've been going on that for a little bit now. So we got to keep things moving if we want to try and get this biogas plant installed in this episode. Oh, just doing donuts out in the yard for no reason. All right, come on. When I reloaded the game, the uh, dead zone on my steering wheel reset and it's making steering a little bit uh, more painful here for me today. 
Oh, it looks like our combine got full while we were doing all this as well. We're just not keeping up with all these jobs going at once. And, and now that I say that, it makes me realize maybe some of my frame rate problems right now are that we're running so many jobs concurrently. Uh, the course play does tend to stack up and use a lot of CPU. So that's probably what's going on now that I think about it. Uh, we've been making a lot more use of it in the last few episodes. That's all right. It's pretty much the only way to get all of these jobs done, though. So rather than take the plow out, which we had all set up and ready to go, we're going to take this over and grab the grain cart because we're going to have some beans to haul out of the field, which will be awesome. I'm going to have to get a semi all set up as well. I'm looking forward to having some more crops. And as we discussed earlier, I'm going to need to figure out if we're just going to try and sell these straight up. I wonder what kind of loss we're going to take if we do that because we could really use another hundred thousand dollars so we may make the decision to take a bit of a hit on our beans in order to get the money to get this uh, biogas plant going because hopefully that's gonna make us more money in the long run i wonder how long it's going to take to justify spending three hundred and fifty thousand or more dollars on a biogas plant that's a good question it looks like our bales have finished up here, or our baler, and we're gonna have to move him over to the next field as well, but we gotta get this combine moving first. Gotta go, go, go on harvest. I always like to see the crops coming off of the field, see how much potential money we're gonna make doing it. And I can see the manure spreader over there doing its thing on the headlands now, I think which is a good sign, means it's almost done. And this combine almost made it all the way around the outside of the field once here. I would have hoped it could get to that corner there, would have made my life easier, but it is what it is. And after we're done harvesting these beans, we talked about before, since we need so much feed to keep up with the dairy expanding as much as it has, we're gonna turn both of these fields into a grass field, which I can't wait for. We're gonna plow them together. We're gonna plow up this area right here in front of us and have one major grass field. That should about do it. We're gonna go ahead and get ourselves out of the way here. We'll leave it right over on the headland area on the side here. And let's jump into the baler tractor. I wanna get this going out on the other field so I can get rid of this course. And I'll have to copy the course from the swather again here in a second. Let me get out to the field. And here we are. Uh, rather than tabbing through everything, sometimes it's easier to just get out and run on over and jump in. Um, copy temporary course. Oh, there we go. Copied. Paste that in there. First waypoint. Hit start. And, oh, it's dumping all my bales out. How nice of it. Well, we might as well jump on in here and finish picking up the bales in this field. I suppose I could have dumped those two bales out before we moved the tractor, and then I'd have them, all the bales for this field in one spot. But we can drive over there. It's okay. We got this. So that'll be 15 total bales off this field once I get those other two. Not bad. That's a half a trailer here, I think, which is great. We'll just bring this over to that field. That other field has a few, a little bit more grass, so it'll have a few more bales on it. Uh, so I'll get more than a full trailer load here, which is good news. And I think what we'll do is just park this up the hill a little bit like so. Keep it out of the way. I'm not going to bother trying to pick up the couple of bales that we've gotten uh, since. I think we're doing good here. Combine's only 20% full. I'm going to wait and see if it can get all the way down to the corner this time since it's doing a second headland pass. And it looks like we're rocking and rolling on the slurry spreader here. Oh, I thought it was on the headland pass, but apparently not. It must have just been driving down the short rows over there. If we bring this map up... Oh, we're getting close to done. Not quite there. A few more passes left. So if we come in here to the price uh, commodity prices screen, 
and look at soybeans in October. Yeah, I don't know if I can stomach selling them for almost half of their potential. That's a pretty big hit. I think we're going to have to hang on to those soybeans. And just looking at this list to see if there's anything else we could probably sell. I mean, we can start selling the slurry direct to the feed store uh, to fund it in the short term. Uh, I guess that's really the only thing that we've got available to us. And that price isn't too bad. It's just kind of a pain to try and haul everything down there uh, without a like a semi trailer or something. I'm not sure. So we'll have to think about that because the trailers are pretty expensive as well. And I was really hoping that I could just use the slurry tank with the tractor that we're spreading with right now to move the manure from our tanks to the digestate. Uh, I, I was hoping that would be kind of the way that we can handle that, but we'll find out. We'll find out, I suppose. Uh, we're going to grab the bison here and switch this out for the grain trailer real quick. I think that's going to be our best bet. And I think rather than feeding hay to our heifers moving forward, we're going to just feed silage. Um, or maybe we'll just keep feeding the whole TMR mix. I don't know. At the end of the day, I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't think we're losing any feed when we mix it together. I think the volume stays the same. Uh, and, you know, at this point, we're trying to get that hay to last for as long as possible to go along with the mountains of silage that we have. So it might make the most sense to just mix it all up and keep feeding it to all of the cows now that they're almost all cows anyway. And I'm kind of curious to get to our first reproductive cycle and see how auto selling of the newly birthed cows is going to work. All kinds of opportunities for new and cool things here. And I'm just looking at this field. It's the perfect spot to put a BGA. It's just so uneven. We're going to spend a fortune in landscaping fees to put something over there. Ah, uh, well, it is what it is. We'll get that going here soon. But first, I see the combines coming up towards the corner here finally. I'm going to get our semi run back here. And I'm going to actually get it turned around before we put a bunch of weight in this trailer. And then we will get that combine emptied as soon as we can. Oh, I did not mean to get out here and drive over all the straw, kind of slowing us down. I guess this guy doesn't really need to be anywhere specific. We can just leave him out in the middle here like that. Kind of curious to see what happens to the combine as it tries to drive over that giant mound of straw. We're so close to full. That's why I'm like trying to spin around here real quick and start unloading before we get to the end, hopefully, just to make sure that he can actually get to the end, but my driving is so atrocious, we aren't gonna make it in time. There we go, we just barely made it. See if we can get some of this emptied out of here. I'm expecting the combine to stop at the corner here. Nope, not so much. Okay, well, let's get out of his way, and uh, he'll probably take this headland pass next, I would think. Uh, or no, he's gonna be done with headlands. What are we doing here? Yeah, he's just going to go down to the other end here, I think. And Oh, no, he's going to cut in because I have lands mode on. No? Are we doing a third headland pass? I can't remember. I, don't, I have no idea what's going on right now. What are you doing, Combine? Yeah, he's going to cut through. Okay. Well, that's a great idea, Combine. I like it. I like your, uh, your thinking here. Let's maybe empty you out first, though, because you're pretty full. There we go. All right. We're going to get these beans dumped into the grain cart. I won't quite have enough to bother hauling the semi up. I think I've got to do one more full hopper here on the combine before we'll be ready to send the semi up. But after we get this emptied out, I think we got to go check on our haying operation behind us here. Looks like the swather's done and the baler might be stuck on the swather. It's always something. Oh no, and our swather's not even done. Okay, let's stop that. We'll get out of the way and then we'll immediately 
start you right back up. No, not the first waypoint. Let's try the nearest waypoint. That's much better. And once again, we're blocking the manure. So I'm going to go ahead and just move this truck and be done with it. Because otherwise I'm going to have to keep managing the manure spreading, which is not what I want to do. I like when things are fully automated and take care of themselves. So we'll put this truck right over here. Hopefully he's out of the way over here now. And now we can go ahead and take the swather back up and store that. Hopefully for the season now, I think we've got pretty much everything else done. No, actually, you know what? I know we're going to need some more hay over the winter here. I'm just, I know it now that we're using so much more feed. I'm going to leave him over here. We're going to actually cut the uh, grass around this area here before we plow everything up. But this isn't a field, so we'll be doing that manually. I just don't want to start in on that right now because we've got to start managing our combine situation over here keep the beans going off of the field. I want to get the Russ's grain cart filled up and send the semi back up to the farm. We'll handle cutting this meadow grass uh, after the fact once we're doing more of the uh, slurry and tillage and stuff like that gets going. We'll, we'll handle that in between managing that operation. I think that'll be a good trade-off for the second half of October here once we get everything else going. <clears throat> now our combine should be down here somewhere and I've got a little bit more beans in the grain cart here than I was expecting but I haven't put anything into that semi yet and I think it holds just under a thousand bushels. So hopefully if we can unload this combine on the way back down It'll work out a little bit better for us. We'll be a little bit more efficient and I'll get to that thousand bushels or close to it by the time we get to the other end of the field here. Here we go. Let's get it unloaded. I'm trying to remember, I think the hopper on this combine's around 300 bushels, uh, which means I probably won't actually get full. Uh, by the time we get back down to the other end of this field. That's all right. We'll make one more round with the combine and uh, that'll that'll do us for the semi. I'm just always impatient when it comes to getting trucks loaded. I want to get them loaded and get them moving as fast as possible. Well, we did make it to 870 bushels here on the way back down. I'm going to go ahead and just get this grain cart out of the way down here on the grass somewhere. And I think... Our baler just finished up that hay field, so what I want to do is go go out there and bring the baler into this field and start getting this soybean straw baled up, keep that baler tractor moving. And before I do that, since the combine is right here anyway, I'm going to go ahead and copy the combine's course so that I can immediately copy that into the baler and get it started on the other field there. However, it looks like the baler's not quite done, actually. I got a little ambitious there. I was not seeing him. I thought he was at the stop point on the other end of the field. Well, that's all right. I will come down here, and it looks like our tractor got stuck trying to bring the slurry tank in here. Let's see if we can help him out. Which of these are we emptying out? Oh, it looks like the back pit is the one that's slightly fuller now. So we'll go ahead and see if we can straighten this out a little bit. Not exactly lined up, but good enough for farm sim. We'll fill this thing up and send it back on out to the field here. And we'll use our slight downtime to pick up some more of these hay bales. Hopefully we can get enough of these picked up that I can bring the trailer back up to the yard. I'm guessing since we're most of the way done with this field that there will be enough to fill it up. I'm actually not seeing quite as many bales on this field as I was expecting. I kind of remembered getting a lot more bales off of this field than the previous one, but maybe I'm mistaken and they're not that different in size after all. We're at 24 bales total right now. I see a few more around the edges here though. And I guess we've got a big pile of them right down here. We've got three on the end. Two more bales and we'll be full. And I see two more bales, perfect. 
I guess we waited until just the right time to come out and do this job. If I'd come out a little bit earlier, I would have been frustrated to not have enough bales to fill it up. And we'll probably get maybe two more off of this. So this field only produced a couple more bales than the other one. And it turns out I was uh, really expecting more. And as usual, I think I'm just going to dump this load of bales off right up here by the harvest store. Uh, in the future, I think what I want to do is move our bale storage building to right across the road there. Uh, that way we're kind of managing all of our animal stuff up here rather than having to go all the way to the back of the farm there. Let's see, I gotta go to transport mode, I've gotta go to unload mode, and unloaded. All right, looking good. Well, let's just go ahead and take this truck out of the way. I'll park it up here in the yard for now. I don't think we're going to need it anytime soon, but I don't want to go disconnect it yet. I might just drive out to the field with the feed mixer to get the two bales that are out there since uh, we'll need to get them into the feed mixer anyway, at least two at a time. As silly as this is, I'm trying to make the most of our time here, and it would be... I think that driving out here with this is probably quicker and easier than taking the big trailer out and having to load and unload it. Although I always forget how slow this tractor is, so maybe not. We're just in time for the baler to stop doing its job. Looks like we've only got one more bale on the ground, but there's a few more bales inside the baler here. At least one, maybe two. I'm going to take this guy down, though. I saw a little spot down at the bottom of the field where it seemed like we missed a significant amount of hay and we can't have that not when we're in crisis mode on feed again uh, i don't know if it'll be enough to get one more bale out of it or not but it's worth the try we're at 80 percent already and it doesn't take that much to make a bale especially when we've got some pretty decent size piles down here and there's 3% already. Not hopeful that I'll finish the bale, but you never know. There, we're at 90%. You know, I think there was a little pile in the other field, too. If we're really itching to get this bale, maybe I'll swing by and pick that up, too. I didn't see much of uh, piles on the other end of the field when we were just down there, so I don't see feel a need to drive down there and check. We were just down there and nothing jumped out at me. I got to 92%. We just need 8% more. I think we got this. I'm going to run it back over here to the little field. I know there's a little bit sitting on the uh, far end of that field. If I get desperate, there's some little tiny missed spots there, but I don't think that's enough to really add up to much. Uh, but the part down on the peninsula here, the little narrow spot, I think is going to be just enough to get us this bale that we're looking for. We've got this pile here oh we're at 94 percent 95 and our combine's full while we're out here dinking around with the baler we'll have to get back over there and deal with that in a second we're playing games with percentages here 97 so this is where in real life you just uh make the bale right it, well, you don't care if it's a little tiny bit small compared to a normal bale but this is farm sim for you, so we will go back down here. Whoa, what happened? Why is my steering wheel freaking out? It's like got a strobing light on it now. It's very unhappy. Oh, the force feedback completely died right now. Well, folks, I don't know what that was all about, but my steering wheel just gave up the ghost. So I have unplugged it for the time being. We'll figure out what's going on with it off camera here. But we'll be finishing out today's episode with the uh, mouse and keyboard, which is fine. We're at 98%. We didn't quite get there, folks. It's going to drive me nuts. It is what it is, though. I'm going to drive this up here. Well, what will happen is we'll start harvesting the soybeans, and that'll finish off with a bale. We'll have one non-soybean bale up in the other field, and it'll drive me nuts up there. But it is what it is. I'm not going to complain. We're just going to dump the bales that I've got right here off next to the bale pile just get this turned a little bit so that hopefully they dump alongside the stack of bales that's already here and yeah it's only going to dump that one 
And even then it's not going to dump it. It's going to hang on. Come on. Off of my baler. Well, all that goofing around. Well, let's get out here and start harvesting uh, this straw or baling this soybean straw and get that harvester moving again. All right, first waypoint, here we come. And as expected, there's my one hay bale. Oh, well. Hey, hey, guess what? The steering wheel is turned off, which means the pedals don't work. What do you know? Got to use the keyboard. I just said that. We're going to go ahead and dump a little bit of the soybeans into this trailer. I'm not going to sit here and unload the whole thing. Maybe I'll just fill the front hopper is what I'll do, because uh, otherwise I won't have enough room to empty out the full combine hopper. And I really want to empty that guy out on the way down here and keep him moving. So we should have emptied this out already when we were waiting around before, but we've just been so busy. There's so many jobs to do right now, which is a good problem to have. I keep trying to steer with the steering wheel. It doesn't work so well, folks. It's going to be a uh, interesting... <laughs> episode to wrap up here if we keep having problems like that. I'm actually kind of surprised at how good the soybeans are yielding on this field. I don't remember getting quite so many uh, grain cart loads off of this smaller field when we've done this in the past, but we are really seem to be uh, bringing in the beans, which I'm not going to complain about. It looks like the baler is starting on the second headland pass here. I'm gonna see if I can sneak in front of him here real quick. Get to the truck and unload these beans. We should have enough to fill this back hopper now. If I can adjust our spout a little bit so we're not losing beans over the side. And there we go, all topped off with beans. We should be able to get the rest of the combine into this grain cart. It's almost done. It's got one more pass left over here, which is exciting. I love seeing uh, fields get knocked out here. I've got this one bale, though, that's right in the front of it. I'm going to move this off to the side just so we don't end up running into it. Check on our baler here. Looks like the baler's running real good here. We're getting quite a bit of uh, this soybean straw off of here. I'd love if I could use this for TMR. I'm just nervous that because I'm still on that old version of the map. It's not going to work. Uh, that's all right. We'll get some profit off of it either way. I'm going to take the semi up to the yard, though, next, because I want to get it unloading, and then we will head back up here, and it'll be time to get that harvester moved over to the other soybean field here, which will take just a little bit longer to harvest than this one did. And as long as we've got the feed mixer out in the field here for I, I don't even remember why we're doing this it's so ridiculous but I'm gonna continue with that uh, line of thought and we're gonna drive over here I'm gonna pick up that one hay bale that we've got laying out in the field here and then we're gonna see what happens if I toss a soybean straw bale in here maybe nothing maybe we'll get it to mix with our TMR I don't know but that's what we want to see uh, let's see. I've got one hay bale in here. I think our other hay bale's up there. We'll stop right here and get this one off of the headland, though. I'm going to toss it in there, and it'll either do nothing, and we'll have to fish it back out, or it'll mix with our TMR. It is going to do nothing. Well, at least we know now that uh, nothing it is. I'll pull that back out when we get over here and attempt to grab the hay. Out you go. Hay bale in the feed mixer. All of this is taken care of. Let's get this run back up to the yard now. We can start making TMR again with all of our silage mix, which is going to be awesome. And that's going to let our harvestor start burning down some silage. And hopefully we can get that semi emptied out and out of the middle of our yard I always hate having equipment sitting around full of commodities that need to get moved into uh, more permanent storage. It looks like our slurry spreader is finally working on headland passes down here. We've got at least two headland passes to go, but that's all right. I'm excited. It seems to be getting this job done as usual uh, fairly automatically. We've only had the one hang up back at the farm. 
And our combine is now done as well. So we're going to go ahead and turn that off, get that course disabled, and then we'll drive this up to the other end of the field. I do think I want to start on the far end of the field, uh, just so that we can have our start point be down there. Uh, I, I generally feel like it works out the best if we start near the corner of a field and it'll give me an opportunity to empty out the rest of these soybeans into the grain cart here real quick. While that's emptying, we might as well hop into the menu here. We can go ahead and get the course play course generated and just checking on our cows. Everything seems to be going good. Man, we're going to get a lot of milk. I can't wait to see what the payday is going to be uh, for a full day with the new mods on. And here we can go ahead and just toss this field position down right there in the corner generate a nice course and we'll drive down there and get started i keep hitting the gas pedal on the steering wheel uh i wish i knew why it uh isn't working i think it'll probably just be one of those things where you reboot your computer and everything's back to normal but we'll find out you'll i will make sure to share the status of that in our next episode However, I think for today, we're going to wrap things up here. I know I wanted to get that BGA going. We've just got so many jobs left to wrap up here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, let this guy start harvesting here. We've got all these other jobs coming to a close. And I think we're in a good spot where if I move the day forward, we'll have enough money for setting down that BGA in the next episode. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. That's all for today. Kedrick, out.